Hi, I'm Jason Webster, commercial agronomist at Precision Planning. We've just wrapped up the busy harvest season and we're calculating yield data from various plots, but I thought I would take a quick break to talk about some of the interesting results we're seeing from our on-farm agronomic testing this past year. You know, this past spring, we released an edition of Agronomic Insights that featured FurrowJet. Now, FurrowJet is a new and unique fertilizer attachment that allows farmers the ability to apply planter row starter fertilizer in three bands of placement. It's a really good option for growers that want the flexibility of applying both in furrow as well as dual wing placement with just one single fertilizer attachment. Here's how FurrowJet works. FurrowJet offers the ability to apply center or in furrow placement by directing pop-up fertilizer available for those early seedling or seminal roots. FurrowJet then creates an opportunity for a relay effect with an additional dual wing placement of fertilizer, offering the ability to place fertilizer on each side of the seed trench to also quickly feed crown or nodal roots. This has a distinct advantage over some two by two fertilizer placements, as sometimes it can take four to six weeks for crown roots to actually reach that placement of fertilizer. This year we had the opportunity to utilize furrow jets in our precision planning on farm agronomic trials. Our goal was to analyze various starter fertilizer products, evaluate the placement process of furrow jet, as well as the overall efficacy of the starter fertilizer itself. Let's take a look at some of the results from our studies. In one particular study, we used a Marco Fertilizer 620-4 liquid starter fertilizer applied through furrow jets. Treatments were implemented at 5, 10, and 15 gallons per acre applied through the center and both wings of furrow jet. When we harvested the trials, we found that all three treatments provided yield gains from 8.2 to 11.7 bushel to the acre compared to the untreated control. 10 gallon to the acre actually provided the highest overall yield response. One other interesting note in this trial was that the starter fertilizer treatments all produced drier corn, averaging about 1.3 points lower moisture than the untreated control. As we scouted after planting, the starter fertilizer treatments applied through furrow jets appeared much healthier with darker and lush green corn plants compared to the untreated control. As we dug corn roots and collected plants, we also documented larger root masses with plants commonly being taller with advancement of growth stage. Now, as I said earlier, this particular study showed yield gains of 8.2 to 11.7 bushel to the acre. However, as with any agronomic trial, we need to identify return on investment. Return on investment is calculated as average yield multiplied by the price of corn minus the cost of the actual starter fertilizer treatment. As we evaluate the average net return of each of the starter fertilizer treatments, we found that the five gallon treatments achieved the highest net returns in this study by capturing an additional $18.72 an acre over and above the non-treated control. 10 gallon treatments were slightly lower at $11.55 an acre, while 15 gallons actually proved a net loss of near $7 an acre. In a second trial location, we also had the chance to use a different liquid fertilizer with an analysis of 827-4. We applied it at the same rates of 5, 10, and 15 gallons to the acre. As with the previous study mentioned, Yield response by treatment correlated pretty similarly with 10 gallons to the acre providing the highest yield with nearly a 15 bushel yield response. As we evaluate return on investment in this study, five gallon treatments applied through FurrowJet again proved to offer the highest return of about $20.26 an acre. 10 gallon treatments reported about half of that with a gain of near $10 an acre and 15 gallon treatments failed to produce positive returns. In a difficult economy, it is imperative that break-even occurs as quickly as possible to help improve overall farm profitability. All right, let's dive into the numbers and take, it, take a look and see how long, once we purchase FurrowJet, how long it will take to pay off the technology. Now, let's start off with maybe a 16-row planter. A 16-row planter, and we're going to purchase FurrowJets at $280 a row, okay? $280 per row. So we've got a cost of about $4,480. That's our investment we're going to make by installing furrow jets and putting them on that 16 row planter. Now, we talked about the two studies with you know, five gallon actually came out as the economic optimum rate, made us the most money. Averaging both studies, we're actually looking at a return of $19.49. Okay, that's the, that's the net return from the five gallon rate on the two studies that we talked about. 
if we take the 4480 and divide it by that 1949 return on investment, we actually come up with a break even of only 230 acres. So what does that mean? After we hit 230 acres, the furrow jets are paid off and then we're looking at total profit. So that's what we're talking about with the return on investment. We want the technology to pay off as fast as possible. And guys, we're looking for technologies that'll pay for themselves in less than one crop year. And if you're farming more than 230 acres, that five gallon rate actually is paying for itself after just 230 acres. That's the break even we're looking for. If we go back to the two studies that we talked about, 10 gallon actually gave us some pretty good yield responses, but the net return was a little bit lower. We averaged $10.81 an acre net return. Now remember, this is after the cost of the starter fertilizer. So that starter fertilizer is already paid off. We're just looking at what the break even is for the technology of the furrow jets. We do the math on a $4,480 cost divided by 1081, and our break even now goes to 415 acres. So it just shows you the difference in performance. The five gallon did very well, net returns of about $20 an acre. 10 gallon, not quite as good, returns about in half at $10.81 an acre, but it still takes our break even to only 415 acres. So again, what does that mean? Once we hit 415 acres, furrow jets are paid off and every acre past 415 is pure profitability. In other words, after purchasing furrow jets, with a cost of $280 a row on a 16 row planter, furrow jets would actually pay for themselves in less than one crop year. Although these are just a few plot locations, we're excited about the potential of furrow jet improving application methods of starter fertilizer products, making it simple to use, and above all, producing higher yields with overall farm profitability. To learn more, I'd like to invite you to the 2018 Precision Planning Winter Conference on January 16th to the 19th, where we'll be talking more about furrow jets as well as other products. We look forward to sharing with you some of the newest technologies that we are working on at Precision Planning. To register, go to our website at precisionplanning.com or contact your nearest premier dealer. Until then, thanks for watching.